1.3 of our text. In algebra, we calculated average rates of change. This was the slope between two points, which you can remember equals rise over run, or the difference in y values of the two points divided by the difference in x values of the two points. Velocity is a common rate of change, as velocity is the rate of change of position or distance over time. Let's see if you can do a simple rate of change or slope problem. Hey, check this out, a couple of pause. This is, this is a suggestion that you stop or pause the recording and try the problem on your own first. So hit pause and see if you can do this problem. Here we are given a function and two x values. We can find the y values by plugging in the x values. Once we get those values, we simply do the math and we get the average rate of change of total cost is equal to $28 per unit. In word problems, it is important to include the units in your answers, whether that be in dollars, in feet, per unit, per period of time, etc. Remember calculus is about instantaneous rate of change. And to find this, we use a new math concept called a derivative. This formula should look familiar, or may look familiar, as a part of it is called the difference quotient in algebra. And I've simply added the concept of a limit to this equation. This calculation is the same as our prior calculation for slope, except here our second value is not a different x value, but the first x value plus a difference or a distance of h. If we apply the limit as h goes to 0, notice what this is doing is bringing the points closer and closer together until they are the same point. Thus we have the slope at one point or instantaneous change. So let's see how we find derivatives and solve a problem. First, simply find the formula for the second point, f of x plus h, by substituting in x plus h in parentheses for every x in the original function f of x. And then we simplify. In this case, we expand it. Now we calculate the numerator of the equation or the change in the y values by using the formulas f of x plus h minus f of x, making sure to put the entire second formula in parentheses to distribute the negative or minus and simplify. We form the difference quotient now by dividing the prior answer by h and then simplifying. Notice we can factor out an h from the numerator, and this cancels out with the h in the denominator. Now we can apply the limit as h goes to 0. So any term with an h in it now becomes 0. And this gives us the formula for the instant rate of change at any value of x. Let's try another problem, but this time we want to find the instant rate of change, or derivative, at one specific point. Versus before, we found a formula for instant rate of change at any point. We'll follow the same steps. Let's find f of x plus h and simplify. Now let's find the change in y values, or the numerator, f of x plus h minus f of x, and simplify. Form the difference quotient by dividing by h and simplify. 
apply the limit as h goes to 0 and simplify. Now for this question we're looking at a specific value when x equals 2. So that's the new part. We simply plug in x equals 2 into our final equation and we get the instant rate of change at x equals 2, which in this case equals 3. Remember from our prior class that a marginals are the amount of money you receive, revenue, spend, which is cost, marginal cost, or keep, marginal profit, for the selling or making of one or more item, specifically the next one. If revenue is a linear function, then the marginal are constant, and this equals the slope of the function. If revenue is not a linear function, we can find the marginal revenue at any point or a specific point by finding the derivative or slope at a point. So here's a problem. Why not try it on your own by simply following the prior steps for derivatives and hitting pause? Here are the answers. Did you get it right? If not, maybe try again. I want you to get that a derivative is very similar to something we have done in algebra for a while. Just as average rate of change is our slopes, so is instantaneous rate of change. The average rate of change is the slope between two points, where the instant rate of change is the slope at one point, or the slope of the tangent line that touches that point. This is derivative no notation. f prime x, or f of x with an apostrophe, f prime x is the derivative of the function f of x and is equal to the slope at point M. This may not seem apparent, but what this question is asking you to do is, to, is simply to find the derivative at x equals 3. And you know how to do this, so hit pause and try the following steps. Find f of x plus h and simplify. Find the numerator f of x plus h minus f of x and simplify. Build the fraction or the difference quotient by dividing by h and simplify. Apply the limit as h goes to 0 and simplify. Now we find the derivative at the point 3, 9, or specifically at x equals 3. And we have our answer. The instantaneous change at x equals 3 is equal to 6, which is also the slope of the tangent line at that point. This is the same function as the problem before, but now it wants the equation of the tangent line. To solve these problems, we need to find the slope of the line and the y-intercept. Remember the equation of a line, y equals m times x plus b. Here, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Remember the derivative is the slope m, which we have already found from the prior example, f prime 3 equals 6, or the derivative at f of x at 3 is equal to 6. Then we can plug in given values for x and y, which was the given point in the original problem, and the slope m. Using these, we can then solve for the y-intercept b.
now that we know what m and b are, we simply plug them into the equation, y equals mx plus b, or in this case, y equals 6x minus 9. Here's the good news and the bad. The bad news is we have multiple ways to ask the same question, so this can be confusing. But notice all of these statements are asking you to find the derivative. These all mean the same thing. Find the derivative.